Hey you guys, I'm Alicia. Um, welcome to our new YouTube channel, uh, Southern Acres Farm. I really hope that through this we can kind of share our family experiences of having a small homestead in the middle of North Carolina. We love it here. We moved into our house just over four years ago. In fact, actually it was just last week we celebrated our four-year house anniversary. Um, and we love it. We haven't done much with the house on the inside, but we have done a ton of stuff with the yard, the farm on the outside. So I wanna take you guys over here and introduce you to the first farm animal that we ever decided to get started with, and those are our chickens. Um, chicken math is a joke, but it is a joke and it's funny because it's real. Um, the first time we got chickens, we had this really fancy heritage breed and they were super beautiful and they were huge and they gave us good eggs. Um, but I gotta tell you, I got in over my head and from what I can tell, that's a pretty common problem. Um, most of the in over my head part that I was struggling with was the, um, the workload of keeping up with things. Uh, at the time I had a teeny tiny baby who I was like thinking was allergic to sleep to a certain extent. So um, we ended up processing those chickens um, and taking a step back, which I know is also a really common thing when you are homesteading to take a step back. Um, but when we decided to get back into it very recently, we went with a different breed and these are our Golden Comet chickens. They are a sex link breed, which means that when they hatch, you can immediately tell what kind of chicken they are, um, whether they are going to be a hen or a rooster. Um, so here are our girls. Hi babies. Don't be mean. So this is one of our Golden Comet hens. They're actually pullets now because they are not chicks anymore. They're not teeny tinies, but they are very sweet, very beautiful. I love this uh, chestnut brown, almost golden color. Um, hello, Cessna. Hi, what do you think of this chicken? Not sure? Okay. Um, but we ended up getting 30 of them this time. And it's not because, um, I suddenly feel like I have it all together. Not true. Uh, it's mostly because I wanted to have a really good source for eggs. And if you do any research on the Golden Comet chickens, you will see that each of them will give me about 300 eggs per year. That's a lot of eggs, especially when you consider 30 of them. Now, I gotta be real with you, one night, actually a few weeks back, we left the chicken coop door open accidentally and we lost one to some owls that are in the area. So our, um, our super sweet neighbor actually gave us a gift. My husband went over and chopped down some trees for him. Um, and it wasn't even an exchange. My husband would have done it anyway. But he showed up a couple days later with this guy up here, our fake owl, which I am really hoping will help to keep predator birds away from our space. Um, so I wanted to show you guys the super amazing chicken coop that my husband built for us. Actually, my husband and my dad built for us recently. Hi, Pixie. Hi, pretty girl. Um, this is our new chicken coop. And yes, that sign says the comedy zone. Um, that was in an old rental house of my parents when, um, when I was a kid and we've just kind of carried it around forever knowing we'd use it for something. Turns out we're gonna use it for a wall on my chicken coop. Um, so they spent a good long day building this for me recently so that I had space to bring our goats home in this building. But here's our beautiful chicken coop. As you can see, most of the posts are actually made from trees that my husband chopped down on our property. He did a fantastic job. And then a crap ton of chicken wire because that keeps the raccoons and the possums and all of those things out. Um, we've got some girls in here roosting. And I don't know why the door is shut. The door is supposed to stay open. I'm gonna blame a child for that. Um, but if we step in here, excuse me girls, they like to be directly under my feet. You will see we have their water. We still have a heat lamp because it's still a little chilly here in North Carolina right now. Um, they have their feed bucket, which 
because I just opened the door. Half of them are like, oh my gosh, food. So that's all the chirping in here. And then I just used a simple palette, you guys. We've built roosting posts and things like that before. Um, and they're fine, they work really well. But just a palette standing up in the corner and you'll see one of us is really comfortable right now. They really just love roosting on that. It's very comfortable for them. Excuse me, Cessna. This is not your building. This is not your building. Move your body. Um, I also want to show you one more super cool thing that my husband built for our chickens. And he actually built these back when we had our fancy heritage breed chickens. But we have pulled it out recently and are using it again. And it is a gravity waterer. So this is just obviously from Lowe's, a five gallon bucket. Actually, yeah, it is a five gallon bucket. And then PVC piping and the very specific fittings, caps on either end. And then if you notice, it has these little, uh, those little drop nipples, the poultry ones. Hi girls. They're very interested in what I'm doing right now my goats. Um, we'll have a video on the goats at a different time. I'll introduce you to my girls that just came to be with us a couple days ago. I'm very excited and I love them already. Um, but I hope that you love the Comedy Zone. I hope that you love our chicken coop and if you have any questions or thoughts about what you've seen, please let me know. Um, subscribe if you will. That would be really great. I'd love to connect with you guys and um, see what you've got going on on your homesteads. Thanks for watching y'all.